Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Could 12 volt tools be the only power tools you own? Let's talk about that today on Tinker with Tools. So when it comes to 12 volt tools, I think even just a few years ago, some of the options for being able to be exclusive to a 12 volt lineup felt sort of limited. The M12 lineup is obviously going to be the most extensive from Milwaukee, but today we do have several different platforms that are quite extensive and obviously cover a lot of the different core tools you have. And in addition to that, there are some extremely well-made tools, especially in like the Milwaukee fuel lineup, or if you're going to be going with the DeWalt 12 volt extreme, you get a lot of really nice well-made tools that have quite a bit of power and are able to get quite a few jobs done that I think many of us would overlook when thinking about a 12 volt tool. I find myself inclined to grab 12 volt tools more because of their small compact size, their ability to still get the job done and just be a little bit nicer to carry around. So today I wanna to talk about what some of my favorite 12 volt tools are, talk about their strengths and some of their weaknesses. And in this, I wanna highlight some of the good that 12 volt tools can do so you can decide if they are gonna be for you or if you need to step up to more of the 18 volt tools. All right, so one of my favorite 12 volt tools that's come out in recent years has to be the M12 fuel hammer drill, the Gen 3 that just came out last year. When the new generation of drills and impact drivers from Milwaukee came out, both in the M18 and the M12, I reviewed them, and this was the one tool that stood out as being a very big generational improvement over the prior gen. This little tool is incredible. It got smaller, it got more powerful. I think they improved upon some of the major gripes with the Gen 2 version, including the trigger response, and then also going back to a mechanical clutch. This little tool is definitely able to punch above its weight class and get a lot of work done while being one of the smaller and lighter tools that is out there on the market. And in the 12 volt lineup, this is definitely king in terms of, in my opinion, one of the most impressive tools that is out there. Now that doesn't mean that this tool isn't without its limitations. If you're gonna be doing repetitive, bigger drilling tasks, obviously I think it might be more worth it to step up to something but I feel for a lot of hobbyist, homeowner, DIY individuals, this is going to have more than enough power to get the jobs done and tackle those tasks. So this one is definitely the one of the ones that I would recommend. I absolutely love this drill. All right, so then my number two tool is going to be the M12 fuel installation drill driver. And in this, I'm really talking more about the category of tool than this one individually. Now this one is still my favorite amongst the installation drill drivers. It's the one I would go with but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the only one out there. I have other videos on the channel where I've reviewed these from Festool, Bosch, and DeWalt. I'll make sure to put a link for them up above and then also put them in the description down below. But the installation drill driver or a multi-chuck drill driver is a great tool because it does give you a lot of versatility and the power and performance in these is still going to be enough to, to get the job done for most people. This kind of gives you the benefits of it being more like a screwdriver, more like a drill, having some of the versatility of quick insert bits of an impact driver. It's nice and compact, and I really do think it's ergonomic with the exception of the forward and reverse selector. But this tool is a great one and another one that I would recommend. Now, some of these are gonna feel a little bit redundant. I'm not necessarily suggesting that you go out and get each and every one of these, but another tool that I feel like often gets overlooked is going to be the 12 volt screwdriver. Now this example is from DeWalt. It's their 12 volt extreme brushless screwdriver. And the difference between a drill driver and a screwdriver, this has the collet of an impact driver, but still has the clutch of a drill. Probably going to be best for lighter and smaller tasks. I have another 12 volt screwdriver from Milwaukee that I used before this, but when I got this one, it had more power than the Milwaukee brushed one that I had. It's smaller, more compact, and it really is just a better tool. I think for a lot of the lighter duty tasks, this is perfect because you can dial in the torque so you're not gonna overdrive a fastener, but it still does give good power when you need to drive something a little further. The installation drill driver is obviously going to do all those things, but in terms of form factor, the screwdriver is going to be just a bit smaller. And I think for that reason, for some people, that is going to be the choice you go. And it is going to be a little bit cheaper too, depending on when you get this. So the 12 volt screwdriver, specifically this one from DeWalt, I think is a great choice. All right, and now the last in the drilling and driving type categories, this is going to be the M12 Surge. This is the only hydraulic style impact driver in the 12 volt lineup that I'm aware of. I do have the M18 Surge as well, but when it comes down to it, if I could only pick one of them, I would pick the M12 version. 
This is a great little tool. If you don't know, oil impulse drivers or hydraulic impulse drivers are actually going to work differently than your traditional impact driver. And the benefit of them is it is going to reduce the noise of using it. You get the driving control and some of the power that you're getting from an impact driver, but the noise is reduced considerably. And so, especially if you're working indoors or in tight quarters, I think this is a must for doing driving tasks. So go ahead and check out the M12 Surge if you haven't already. This is one of many great tools that M12 has in their lineup, but this is one that I really hope we get another Gen 2 and see further improvements on in the future. All right, and then we're gonna be moving out of drilling and driving into our first saw. Now this is the DeWalt 12 volt extreme five and three eighths uh, brushless circular saw. Think of all the circular saws you see out there. Most of them are seven and a quarter. So this is going to be a smaller capacity saw. It still can cut through two by material at 90 degrees and offers decent power for ripping through sheet goods. Obviously you're not gonna be ripping through large hardwoods with this, but that's not necessarily what it's intended for. It's just a little bit over half the weight of your traditional seven and a quarter inch circular saw but I can take it to the hardware store, break down materials if I need to in the parking lot, and it really is just a lot smaller and lighter weight. Um, I run mine on a five amp hour battery from DeWalt. That's what comes in the kit with this, and it certainly gives me enough power to do quite a bit of cutting on this small saw. You can even get some different blades in there if you're gonna be specializing it for different tasks, but as far as a nice lightweight saw that's carry around but still have plenty of power, I think this is the greatest option in the 12 volt lineups as far as saws go. And so that's the reason why this makes my list of some of my favorite 12 volt tools. All right, second to last one is going to be the M12 inflator. I picked this one up before they actually offered the, the M18 inflator that they have out now. I wondered if it was gonna be powerful enough to do what I needed to do, which is mostly just airing up tires when there's seasonal pressure changes, or if I'm gonna be going on a road trip, this always gets into the back of my car. I love the number of times that I've been able to quickly address a tire that is just a little bit under pressured. At first, I wondered if it was gonna be powerful enough. It's been able to do anything on the lighter duty vehicles that I have, and has even operated in some more extreme weather conditions in colder environments when my tires were a bit lower. I have loved this thing. It's pretty small and compact. I typically will run it on a four amp hour XC battery. I can always reliably get four tires aired up from that. I don't think you're necessarily gonna be inflating large trucks with this on just a single battery. But if you just have four tires that are under pressure and it is certainly one of the better tools and my favorite tools that I've done there. I love this inflator and I would buy it again if it ever broke. I feel like this list of 12 volt tools could just keep going and going. There's a bunch that I haven't mentioned today. So be sure to go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite 12 volt tools. But for tonight, the last one I'm gonna be talking about is the M12 oscillating multi-tool. This is the fuel version. This one came out a couple of years ago. And previously I had an 18 volt oscillating multi-tool from Rigid. It was their Job Max kind of multi-head tool. And that thing was not a small multi-tool. This one certainly changed all of that. It is smaller and more powerful, and yet it vibrates less in my opinion, or at least it transfers it less. Now it's still a loud, noisy tool, but I do think it is quite awesome, and the performance in it is certainly capable of what I need. If you haven't incorporated an oscillating multi-tool into the different work that you do, I think it really is just one of the most versatile tools, and it's one of those things that as soon as you see what it can do, you find other reasons to replace different tasks by using the multi-tool. I will say that I think other multi-tools, there's a 12 volt from DeWalt that I think has a little bit better uh, blade change system on this one. For this one, you do have to undo the lever, and then you can actually loosen this and put on new blades without having to take it out fully. So it's a toolless blade change, but there is still a little bit of work for it. I think there are obviously better versions of that, but for myself, who's not using this day in and day out, but just when I get working on certain projects, um, I really have loved this, and it is definitely enough multi-tool for what I need to do, and I think it is just a really high quality tool. So now we've talked about some of these tools, and obviously, as I said, some of them have limitations. You know, if you have larger trucks, you're not going to be taking this M12 inflator and expecting it to do all of your needs with that. That's why they obviously make larger versions of these and different tools that are gonna be able to do that. Um, you have the, the 12 volt impact wrenches that are going to be able to do a lot of different things, but you're not going to be taking off semi-truck lug nuts with them. So 12 volt tools, I get it, aren't going to be for everyone. But I think if we're honest with ourselves, there's a lot that 12 volt tools can do 
and a lot of jobs that they can cover. For most homeowners, for most DIY people, I think the 12 volt tools offer definitely enough power to get the job done and still give you a really quality tool that's not going to be lacking too much on power. So there you have it. There is my case for 12 volt tools. Go ahead and let me know which ones you love and which ones you can't live without in the comments down below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the content I have coming out in future videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you on Tinker with Tools.